Hello everyone and welcome back to Cello Tips after almost an 18 month hiatus. So we've had a lot of requests and I've got a lot of ideas for you guys. So I'm going to get back into trying to make as many of these videos that I can for you all. So the subject for today Finding the soul of the music. This is a subject I've been thinking about a lot recently. And I noticed that a lot of young cellists and instrumentalists in general feel a lot of pressure to become a very unique individual artist with their own very definable style and approach to the way that they play their instrument and the way that they interpret the music. I think a lot of the times when we look up to certain role models, certain great soloists, great artists in the industry, and we see them as having such a clearly defined style that they bring with them to every piece they play. And so we feel a lot of pressure that we have to have our own style just like they have theirs. And that that's what's gonna sort of make us as an artist. And although there's definitely something to be said about that, I think in becoming so focused on that, we often lose sight of what the music that we're playing is actually about. As classical musicians, we play music that spans over, over several centuries. And from places all over the world, from composers of all different styles and types. And every piece that we play is totally unique and different from anything else. And in doing that, we must embody what that specific piece is truly about. And this is a mistake I see a lot of the time with young people that they approach every piece they play sort of in the same way. And in doing that, well, you might find a really great approach to one of those many pieces you're playing, but for probably all the rest of them, your approach is not totally appropriate. I would say that the music that this problem is most often the case with is the music of Johann Sebastian Bach. And I could make an entire different video about that one, but that's not the subject for today. We're talking about something a bit more general today. So in line with all of this, I've noticed that in all other genres of music, whether that's rock and roll, country, hip hop, whatever it might be, in all other genres of music, the emphasis in a performance is on the feeling and the soul of that music. And everything after that is sort of secondary. You know, whether that be intonation, dynamics, execution, whatever. I mean, I don't mean to diss any artist by saying this, but it's just the fact is the focus is on the feeling and the soul, because as listeners, that's what we listen to music for. That's what we want to get out of music. We want to feel something. But for some reason in classical music, this is usually not the focus actually. And we, we know that our music must have feeling, 
that we must have a lot of emotion in our music and so on. But I think because of the incredible difficulty of most of the music that we play and the instruments that we play, we end up becoming extremely obsessed with the technical aspects of music making. Intonation, clarity, dynamics, phrasing, attention to the score, so on and so on. All the other things that we've talked about on this channel too. And that becomes the problem, right? Because when we are so focused on all those things, the whole purpose of music, which is the soul and the feeling and the emotion, does not receive the attention that it should receive. So that's basically this issue that I've noticed and I've been thinking about a lot. And so I wanted to give you guys some ideas on perhaps how to address this and, and how to get our priorities straight and back into the place where we can be giving the best, most powerful performance that we can on any given piece. And so I think where this starts is to start trying to become more intimately associated and connected with whatever given piece we're talking about. So if you're a student, you're preparing for a competition, you might be playing 10 different pieces at one given time and you might be practicing all these different pieces every day. But the connection that you have which, with each of those pieces must be completely unique and its own. And so to do this, I would suggest putting the instrument down, maybe take a walk outside and think about the music in your mind and try to feel the music. Try to, to become part of the music and let, the be, let that piece become part of you. And that's a great place to start, to really forge a unique interpretation and connection with that piece. Practice the piece in your head, go through the piece in your head so that it's not hindered by the technical difficulties of the instrument. We want a, a pure musical vision. And then also, it's so important that you begin to have an understanding of the composer's language, the composer of the piece you're playing. So, and this is something I've talked about before on this channel, some of you guys know, but if you're playing a piece by Beethoven, if you're playing a Beethoven cello sonata, and you're having trouble finding the soul of the music or connecting with the music in this way that I'm talking about, I would suggest going and listening to every piece that Beethoven published. If that's too much for you, try listening to every Beethoven symphony. That's a good place to start. And then maybe all the piano sonatas. And this way, you're going to become intimately connected with the language of Beethoven and the soul of Beethoven's music. That's the best way that you're going to be able to put yourself in a place where you can understand and express and interpret the soul of his music in a pure way. Now, also, it definitely helps to educate yourself as much as possible about that composer, read books about the composer, read articles online about the composer, whatever you like. And you just want to try to immerse yourself in their world so that you're in the best place possible to understand and now share with your audience the soul of their music. 
So this is more of a broad, perhaps abstract subject than some of the other things we've talked about here, but I think it's extremely important, perhaps more important than anything else. And so I just wanted to address it today in this video. Now, we have some other subjects coming up that I think will be very useful and interesting to you all. In addition to that, if any of you have any burning questions or other things you want me to talk about, please leave them in the comments below and I will get to as many of them as I can. So thank you all for watching. I hope this was inspiring or helpful to you and we'll see you all next time. Bye.